Hey guys, CB Super. I got a question and it was in reference to these pre-made titles and he said, if I want to use a specific font or color or other settings all the time, is it possible to change the default settings for these built-in titles? The short answer is you could go and you could find the code and you could try and change the default. But to be honest, like you really don't need to. This is, especially with the default titles, I mean, they're really basic, right? So unless there was like a really specific title effect and maybe the fusion titles that you liked, like some of the 3D titles, I would, you know, if it's just a basic title, you know what I would do is I would actually just make that title yourself, turn it into a macro and then turn it into a template. And so I'm gonna show you how to make a template real quick. Inside of fusion, say I'm on this text, let's just say this is, we'll just call this template. And let me go ahead and load this up so you can see it. Maybe my favorite font is impact. It's not, but maybe it is. Maybe we say it is. All right, and then uh, let's say I really like this, but I like, maybe I want like a, uh, like a red. And then uh, you can even throw animation in this too. Like say maybe we start it here and maybe I can keyframe it. And then at the end of the animation, however long it is, we'll just say it's all the whole animation here. And then maybe I want to just track it out just a little bit. Now, all I have to do is I can select that, right click, I can come to macro and I can create a macro. Maybe I want to name this macro uh, tracking title. And now um, some of the things, and if you've gone over and you've watched my macro video, you know that you can come in here and you can add in all of these uh, style text. And if you haven't seen the macro video, go ahead and up in the right hand corner, there'll probably be a card that just leads to the macro and I'm just I'm not gonna go completely back ham into the macros your specific thing was you wanted to be able to change the styled text but you wanted to leave the font and the style the way it was so if we leave it this way what you'll get is you'll get impact and you'll get a red impact like every time so let's just go ahead and leave it like that um, but maybe you want to change the size so we could probably add in at least the size um, now we'll just close this. It's going to say save changes to macro tool. You're going to say yes. This is where we want you to save it, but you you don't want to do that. Click on that little twirl down just to the right of it. So by default, it's going to want to put it in your macro folder, which isn't where you want to go. You actually want to go down here to where your templates folder is. Templates, edit, titles, and you can just place it right here and just hit save. And uh, so for whatever reason, um, mine didn't automatically update which that may have just been a bug or I'm not sure what that was. And you, and you might have to do this where you have to close completely out of DaVinci Resolve and then come back into DaVinci Resolve. But now you'll notice um, inside of your effects library, if you come into titles and mine just happens to be because of, you know, alphabetical and whatnot, it's at the very end here and it's called tracking title. So now whenever I, I just bring over this tracking title, now I see my template and it animates the way that I wanted it to. Um, it's running a little slow, but it is animating. You can see that it, uh, you know, it's tracking out slightly. This, this is the, the color that I wanted it. This is the font that I wanted it. And if I want to, I can just come in here and I can just, you know, change, change whatever I want here inside of this little panel here. Now, like all macros, it's gonna give you all the options that you wanted and none of the options that you didn't want. So you get to decide what options you want to be able to edit. Um, and if you wanna make it really easy on yourself, like I did right here, all I have is this size and I left the font the way that I thought I was gonna use it all the time and I left the color the way that I thought I was gonna use it all the time. So yes, I, I know like your question was, can I, can I change the defaults in this other title? But to be honest, it's a lot easier just to make your own title and then load it up in as a template so that you can use it later um, the way that you want to use it. And that's what DaVinci's all about. DaVinci's all about like making it really the perfect editing system for you. So I hope that helped. I hope that's kind of what you were looking for. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.